Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for April 10th to 16th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. And if you look at personal read with me, it's jenniferwalkerson.com or check out the description box below. You can always check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Feel free to cross watch. We're gonna go over the day to day and then the overall. If you guys like it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Let's jump right in. What's going on my Sagittarius's romantic love life for the 10th to the 16th? What's going on my Sagittarius romantic love life for April 10th to the 16th? Show me the cards I need you to see. Show me the cards in the see. Ya. What's going on my Sagittarius's romantic love life for April 10th to the 16th? Sagittarius's romantic love life for April 10th to the 16th. Show me the cards I need you to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Oh. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. What's going on my Sagittarius's romantic love life for April 10th to the 16th? Sagittarius's romantic love life for April 10th to the 16th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, before we jump into the day today, I wanna to see what your overall message is gonna be for this week. What does my Sagittarius's need to know that they don't know could help them this week? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we have adventure. And also, yeah, there's another card there. Going forward. And we have embracing. Okay, let's take a look at this here. So I feel like you guys are really standing out here if you just take some risk, okay? Because there are a lot of eyes on you this week. Yes, it's going to reveal itself that there's something to do with a long road there, but if you just embrace this, you'll see the sign, okay? Um, I do feel like, yeah, you are, you are doing some socializing for some of you, or if you're adventurous, you'll be able to move forward and embrace this change. That's what I feel. I feel like there's some kind of change for you guys happening. And you're going to see the signs here. It's going to be revealing about this path. It's going to, there's going to be a long path there. It's going to reveal to you where you need to go here. But just be adventurous. Take that risk and go forward here and embrace this. Okay. So let's go into the 10th of April, the 11th of April, the 12th of April, the 13th of April, the 14th of April, the 15th of April, the 16th of April. And then what's going to happen with the overall and what's going to happen with your love interest? How do they feel about you? What's your advice for this week? and the overall outcome. So as you guys can see, it's a pretty extensive reading and we're gonna layer more cards on top of this. So stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. Let's move this out of the way here. Okay, so on the 10th, it looks like you guys are being very patient here. You're being pa patient here because there are some things growing here and you're aware of that. You're, you're aware that things are growing here in your situation. And they are taking romantic gestures towards you. They're being very romantic and they're taking those actions here. And we see that they're longing and there's a sense of heartache here, okay, because of this love connection. I feel like the heartache's coming into play because of this patient energy and having to be patient to wait around how for things to grow here. And I feel like there's a lot of missing energy, a lot of longing energy with this Three of Swords energy. So let's keep going here. On the 10th, you're waiting around for someone to be single and available to pursue, or there's a sense of isolation and separation around this energy. And it does look like because of this patient energy, you're a bit confused about what's going on with the situation. And we see on the 11th, there seems to be some blockages, delays, and challenges here. But it does look like they're taking some romantic gestures towards you. And we see that there's something close to home or something to do with stability and stable as their house and family here, which is causing these blockage, delays, and challenges with you. And we see on the 12th, there's some stress happening here because of this heartache, Three of Swords energy. And we see why that's there is because of the fact that there is lack of flexibility with the Snake card energy or strong desires there. I'm just gonna move these over a little bit. Okay, that's better. So there's confusion here in this situation this week because of house and family or possibly maybe someone's not close to you and it's it's, it's having it's giving you that lack of flexibility here 
we see that there is this patient energy and waiting around let's see what happens you know but there's these romantic gestures being taken but the sense of heartache here because of these delays and it's causing a lot of stress here around the situation so let's see what's going on the 13th okay so they're flirting with you with the page of wands energy there's a flirty energy but still things uh, are having the sense of man i need things to be brought into balance here something is not balanced in the situation let's go to the numbers as well six is telling me healing recovery and love and four is about all right things need to be stable they need to be structured in a certain way we really need to think about this so you guys have an opportunity here because they are flirting with you on the 13th but still there's things that you feel are not in balance here we look above because there's blockages leads and challenges things aren't balanced but we see there's romantic gestures here and flirty energy happening there's something to do with house and family stability and stables and this opportunity okay so an opportunity comes up for you on this day of the 13th you guys are having the sense of completion or accomplishment here with the world card energy because of family and long-term commitment here on the 14th and it looks like you are gaining that strength and that control there with the bear card energy. Okay. So you're definitely feeling a lot stronger. You're gaining that strength. You're having the sense of, okay, well, maybe this can go somewhere. We can start a family, you know, or there's, there's family involved with this, influencing this, which is giving me a sense of accomplishment, a sense of completion. Okay, so it looks like on the 15th, this person really wants to hold on to you and they're letting you know they have romantic feelings and that their feelings are real and worth exploring here because of the fact that there is something that ended stopped or completed here okay so we see starting a family family and long-term commitment romantic feelings the sense of completion and wow i'm going to be able to hold on to the situation for success and this control, you're letting go of control here. That's what I feel like with this card combination. Six is saying healing, recovery, and love and putting the work or effort into that. So let's see what's going on here. So you guys are still kind of like on the 16th, you're like, what do I do here? You know, what's gonna be the ch best choice and option for me? This person is missing you though. They really long for your embrace once again. They, they're missing you and they're confused about things. But you know what? You guys are gonna get a surprise here because the bouquet card is coming out. There's something really surprising, really, really that is to do with this attraction. Now, remember with the bouquet card energy, it could be socializing, it could be uh, a gift of flowers, something of value here. It's like the Queen of Wands energy, the sexy uh, uh, chemistry and passion there, something of beauty here. So we see you're letting go of control and there's something surprising about this, about this person like really missing you. There is this romantic feelings, they wanna hold on to you. Yeah, they're taking romantic gestures, but you guys are dealing with these leads, blockages, and challenges. I think for, I feel for some of you, the reason is, is because you have distance between you or family may be infringing upon your romantic love life here because we see house and family and family there. And, um, and this want for control there around the situation. Okay, so I wanna see what's influencing this. This really helped. Okay, so chemistry and passion is influencing your romantic love life. And by the, that, by the way, the signs are uh, potential signs are uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy and now we see also Aries Sagittarius Leo energy and what is the influence also? Mm -hmm. Passionate exercises there with the sexual chemistry card which is causing some stress here or some you know butterflies in the stomach there okay okay so obviously there's a lot of chemistry here right but it's like some there's an and there's opportunities coming up for that potential passion there with that flirty energy on the 13th and we see that the influence in your romantic love life is this passionate chemistry you know and wanting to take a leadership role around this and also there's romantic feelings here too because we got the knight of cups energy and we also have the romantic feelings card and i know that the the devil like the snake card energy is like the devil card energy. It could be obsessions, strong desires, which is causing heartache and stress around this. Yeah, because we see also again here stress. So let's see how this person feels about you. Okay, this person is definitely focused on, oh my God, this is what's have, what your love interest is focusing on. This is what has been lost here. But I really want an opportunity here to be successful. There's the key card energy here. This person's like, oh my God, I rarely regret things with me and you. And I really want this opportunity here. 
and you make me so happy here with the sun card energy I want to reveal these regrets to you and let you know that I want an opportunity with you and then we see what is your advice use your experiences from the past to make wise choices and wise decisions when it comes to love and romance and things will turn in your favor with the wheel of fortune card energy and I feel I've been feeling like for a lot of you that there is something to do with a long-distance relationship okay or something to because we see the ship card energy which represents movement change foreign right or travel here yeah so movement change or travel things will turn in your favor make wise choices when it comes to love and romance based on your past romantic uh, experience here so let's see what the overall outcome is going to be here there is happiness complete love here and this person feels isolated and separated from you and I feel like this person does want to commit to you because we see the opportunity card here they want to commit to this or they want some kind of commitment. There's some deep, heavy soul searching about the fact that you make them completely happy. And they're seeing things from a new way and a new perspective because of this isolation. And look at that, they wanna offer you their cup of love, Ace of Cups energy, true love, renewed love, Ace of Cups energy, and they're committed to that. Yeah, there's been a lot of analyzing going on here about stability and stableness or the stuck energy. And it's just a want to gain knowledge here with the book card energy. Wow. All right, my beautiful Sagittariuses. I love you guys so much. I will be releasing what does your love interest secretly want to tell you in the next day or two. I love you guys so much and thank you so much. And if you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you soon. Have a great rest of your week and I'll see you.